There was something with, wrong with Santiago and we couldn't put our finger on it. I knew something was there. Both Jackie and I were kind of in denial that anything was wrong. Santiago has never been a boy to socialize. Interacting with other people, he would run away and hide his face. Whenever we went to birthday parties, he would be in a little corner by himself. Santiago is very much behind uh, the development of other kids. I had, instead of a five-year-old, I had a two-year-old. When Ben would try to catch a ball, you could see him. He'd look at the ball, the ball was coming, just would totally miss it. Santiago wouldn't look at me straight in the eye or make eye contact with me or he'll be squirmish about us hugging him. When Ben's in a situation that's strange or a lot of noise going on, he would get so upset. I remember one time where I went to pick up uh, some pizzas and he wanted a, a balloon and I said no. And he had a full-blown meltdown kicked the boxes out of my hand. I had an older woman come up to me and tell me that I was a terrible parent because I couldn't control my child and he needed discipline. And being reprimanded by someone who has no idea whatsoever what my child is going through. It just all these things that totally perplexed us. We, we didn't know what we were looking at. It's hard to admit that there's something wrong with their child. To me, in, 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 in my heart, it's just, I mean, it just sank. What do you do? We couldn't find anybody that could help us put it all together. We went from neurologists to psychiatrists to pediatricians. Because we came from seeing all these doctors that pretty much just say he's autistic and no solution or just trying to medicate him. They would give us uh, maybe a diagnosis or a prognosis, but no treatment. One would say he was autistic, the other one would say he wasn't, and then the next would say he had HDHD, and the next one said he didn't. It was abundantly clear to both Bill and I that you know, the world is progressing around us and our poor boy is going backwards. And instead of seeing any improvement, we see him regress. Ben is different. His autism is part of him. I, I don't ever want to write him off as just an autistic child. He's Ben, he's my son. It's just, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We finally ended up at the Family Hope Center. We were lucky to find out about the Family Hope Center. It was through word of mouth. Thank God for whoever. But anyway. When you go to the seminar, you're full of fears, you're full of regrets. The first seminar is, is to get the information to you to understand how the brain needs to be stimulated when a child has a brain injury. And it was not about, you know, the injury. It was all about, how do we fix this? What the Family Hope Center does when you go to them is they give you a whole individual program. For Ben, because he had these sensory issues, they gave us a program to help desensitize him. They told us that he had no filters in his ears. TV was too noisy, flushing the toilet, opening the garage door. That would make him miserable. When they gave us a program for that, I banged pots and pans. Exposing him to loud noises at various times. That's too loud! Until he got used to noises and was able to carry on with what he was doing. home and you're crying and keeping with your child. In terms of the physical, they are things that uh, are crawling and getting the body to function. And for him, we created, it was like his train tracks. It's all into train, so that's how we play. A normal developing child would crawl on their hands and knees and then eventually get to walking. Ben did start walking, but there was never any crawling. We started doing exercises to help him with his coordination 
from pencil rolls and backflips and forward flips. And everybody started rolling. His sister started rolling, his brother helped him with the backflips. Part of the program is for him to run. We take a mile a day of running. At the beginning, it was a lot of holding hands and dragging him through the mile. Me and him run a, a few laps around the block. Now he runs in the Pentley. Sometimes it's fun to run ahead and make dad catch up to him. To this day, the progress he's making is astounding. Four months into the program, we were already seeing a different child. The physical program that they gave us with the creeping and the crawling helped Ben see the ball to the very end. Now he can catch a ball. Part of his first program was to give him flashcards. And it took about, uh, I would say, a month when he started telling them back at me. Fine! Ben has developed the ability to show affection where he wouldn't before. But he comes and hugs and tells you, I love you. It's been wonderful uh, to see the change. It's big leaps in such a short time, from not talking to not reading and he's adding, he's subtracting. I mean, he's like a totally different kid. And Sophia, the little one, got on top of the bookshelf and was able to unhook the cord for the shades and lasso herself. And then she jumped onto the bed. And she was hanging between the bookshelf and the bed. She started turning purple. Ricardo ran to tell us that their sister was dying, that she was purple and Santi was able to problem solve, and by the time we got there, he had already freed her from the, from the court. If he hadn't progressed as much as he has, he'll just sit by himself and be in his own little world. The Family Hope Center is made up of people who really want to help kids. They help you stay focus in what's really important. There's nothing more important at the end than, you know, our family and our son has, to, it, it's a part of it. Like when we went there and we were so worried on what's his diagnosis, what's the label, what's, what's his illness. It's like, don't, don't look at that. Look at how you're going to make him better. None of our members of our family resent that. I mean, everybody's like pulling together to get this done. And this is just going to make you better as a family. And it has. The improvements that Ben has made since we've been to them is a miracle. He's just doing so well. He's back, he's here, he's part of the family. You know, this family will keep going forward, so. It's hard to, to explain the feeling. We were a drowning ship. I felt like we were a drowning ship. And there were no ropes left. Somebody threw us a rope. The rope is there, we're on the boat, we're not sinking anymore.